What is up, everybody? Welcome back. I gotta turn this down a little bit. What did I have it at? 13, 12.7. Okay. I gotta keep that mental note in mind for a different video, different, uh, different game. But, uh, uh, hello. Welcome back to MLB The Show 21 here. Um, had a weird hiccup yesterday. So, let's flash back two nights. Recorded the video, uh, for, um, oh, yesterday or whatever. I don't even know. Recorded the first game of this series, game number 101. Um, and I, I guess to be more specific and clearer, cause it sounds weird to say the first game, game number 101, first game of this series against Houston, uh, game number 101 overall recorded that. Um, and then just finished the recording, did my normal thing. Um, went in to OBS Messed with the settings, switched to a different profile, which has different settings. Um, and I, I, uh, was going to do that to test the, uh, the like internet possibilities to like do like actual streams. Didn't actually end up doing that test. Just like switched it and then went to bed. I don't know why I did it. Um, whatever. Uh, but I switched the profile, which has again, different settings. Um, like for example, this one outputs in like an MP4 video format. The other one impact outputs in like an MKV or an MOV or something. So like some weird file format, um, that'll be apparent or uh, important here in a minute. Got on yesterday to record, forgot that I had switched profiles, recorded a whole like seven minute intro. Um, and I was like, ah, oh, shoot, I don't really want to redo all of that, which wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. Um, but I thought, you know what I can do is I can actually just go in and I can just edit the video together. Like it's no big deal. It does balloon the file size a little bit, but I'll record with the other thing that I'm going to record. I'll go in, throw it together. Um, I'll just let it, I'll let it export. I'll start the upload in the morning. It should be up. Everything should be fine. No problem. No big deal. Just went on, recorded the whole thing, um, like a normal person and just was like, okay, that's, uh, that's fine. Here, here we go. Let's move on to the, to the next step. Realized that I was recording in a weird file format. Um, and so switched the profile, did all that, started the recording and just jumped into the game, which is why it's a little bit on the like shorter side. Um, did that recorded the game did not go well. It was a bad game yesterday. Uh, the, the Houston Astros had a two run home run in the eighth in the eighth inning. Uh, that was enough to propel them to a victory, much like the two run home run that the Mariners got in the eighth inning in the previous game was enough to propel them to a victory. Um, anemic offense, just a, like an awful game all around. I've really struggled since I've come back. I was lucky to get the home run in the first game to get that victory. Yesterday was awful. Zach Greinke pitched nine full innings and threw maybe 65 pitches. It was, it was very, very bad. Um, but so we're going to just move on from it, finish the game, started to get things ready to like move to the next step in the process. Uh, my computer decided to update. Um, I think it was two days ago. Maybe it was Friday night. Um, it, it decided to update because that's what computers do. Uh, because I finally had internet and it's like, Hey, don't worry. You can just, uh, you can just update. It's fine. It's cool. Did not realize that, that update apparently fucked up some minor setting in like a menu because like OBS has worked and Spotify has worked and um, uh, uh, whatever Microsoft Edge or whatever. That stuff's all worked. It's all been totally fine. It's all been. Always feels good when you're telling a story and you yawn. Um, everything's been working. Everything's fine, except for Adobe, which I need to edit a video together. It's like, uh, some, something, something dot DLL is not here. So I can't, we can't load this. Like I, we just, there's no connecting point for us to start this. I'm like, okay, that's weird. Go in, uninstall the program, reinstall the program. Same problem. I look at, look it up. It's like way too much jargon for how late it is at night. And I'm like, I don't care enough to do this. Like I'm so fucking irritated that my computer updated and then was just like, Hey, uh, we've created a problem for you. Give me two thumbs up or like, I guess we'd be just be two middle fingers and then just like left. Um, so I just threw up the one video where it starts in kind of a weird spot. And it's like, that's what I have. And then I realized that 
I don't even know if I can edit those two pieces together because it's in a weird file format. Like, I don't know. But I can't even load Adobe to check and see if it's a weird file format. I don't know. I just have no idea. I'm just flying blind in this whole fucking thing. I try not to use Adobe because it makes the file size so big, which means the upload takes longer. But at the same time, it's nice to be able to like realize that I fucked up and be like, oh, I can just put this together real quick. It's not too big of a deal. Um, and, uh, now I'm kind of just stuck with like a weird kind of partial recording up there. It's like 95% of it, but still it's like, this is a weird, weird place to start, but whatever, I guess. So that was weird. That was on top of the frustration of losing the game. I was also frustrated with that. And, uh, I was, it was, uh, it was very annoying. Uh, let's uh, quickly get you caught up here. The Mariners and the Astros, series tied 1-1. to They have the best records in the American League West, tied for first place. Winner of this game wins the series um, and gets uh, first place in the American League West. Loser is relegated to first place for the American League uh, wild card. Um, the Mariners have not battled, not played well. I think we have a total of like seven or eight hits uh, in, this, in this entire series. I think Houston has like doubled that. Um, yesterday's game was a little bit cleaner on the defensive side. Did give up the two run home run, but got out of a couple of jams earlier in the, earlier in the game. Um, it didn't have the kind of like mental errors that I had in the first game. So a little bit better defensively, even with a loss. So I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, offensively it like slid backwards. It was even worse than it was the first time around. And it's just, I just got to set it and forget it and just let it happen. The problem is, and the reason I bring that up is we don't get any respite. We don't get any rest. We don't get anything easier. We get uh, tough sledding here against Justin Verlander, who was 8-4 and four with a 3.9 ERA. And we are taking Justice Sheffield, putting him on the mound. He has a 7-8 and eight record with a 4.03 ERA. Um, he might be the least likely candidate to get uh, get to, uh, to 10 wins. I feel like I just have not pitched super well with Justice Sheffield. I kind of wish that, even though it kind of worked out in my favor... Kind of wish we were getting a Casey Sadler here, just because he has a really good record, and I feel like I played very well with him. Calendar. Here is your look at what has been happening in the last 10 games. The Mariners are 9-1. We had a nine-game win streak lost yesterday. That broke the streak. Astros are 6-4 and four over their last 10. We're notched, nodded, nodded at, I don't know why I said notched, uh, nodded at 60-42 and 42 each. Standings-wise, that puts us to tie for first. It puts us a tie for first. We're pretty uh, pretty ahead of Cleveland, who's made a little bit of a surge here with a six-game win streak. They, like I have mentioned, they were in first place forever, fell out of it a little bit, and they've seemed to get things going in the correct direction. Um, and it looks like it could be the second-place American League Central and the second-place American League West uh, teams, because that's... Uh, kind of what we're looking at here. We have two, three American League West teams because the Mar the Mariners and the Astros are tied. Three American League West teams in those top four uh, spots. And there's no way Cleveland's going to win the division in the American League Central. It's going to, it's just, it, the Minnesota has run away with it. I don't know if they'll get to 116 wins, but they're, I, they're like 14 games behind at this point. And it's, it is wild. I guess I can actually show you. Uh, yeah, 14 games. The White Sox are 24 games. There's a pretty good, pretty good battle down here. If they were in their own division, it'd be kind of interesting. Calendar wise, uh, we'll have a day off tomorrow. So you'll get a Chad champ. He will finally get to do his debut with his brand new team. That has been, uh, that's been a while since we've had uh, Chad champ on this, uh, on this channel. <laughs> that was so much spit that I did not intend to come out of my mouth. Um, gross. That is that is disgusting. It's been an eventful few games here uh, over the course of this. Over the course of this uh, this series. I the, the moth startling was the other day. Now I'm just, just hacking a lung up over here. Uh, somehow it's on both legs. I don't know why. That's very weird. Um... Yeah, give me a, uh, like, jeez, a wheeze. All right, um, I, I think we're okay to go here. By the way, by the way, mentioned yesterday, couldn't find any of the cards. Uh, found both packs. So we have two boxes today. If we win, we get to crack into one of these, and we'll open them up. 
Uh, if we lose, we'll have to wait until um, the Texas series is over, where we should be able to get a series win against the Rangers. All right, let's jump on in here. I've spent long enough talking your ear off. Uh, we're 10 minutes into this video, and I have not uh, not got anything. We'll throw an alternate one on today. We'll see foam green in the series, series finale of the Houston series, and maybe more importantly, the homestand uh, is over. And we'll be on the road for the next 11 games. 3, 3, 6, 4, 10. 10 games. I, I believe it's 10 games. Um, we'll be in New York. We'll be in Tampa Bay. We will be in Texas. Uh, so it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a long road trip. We're going to go ahead and just kind of work with the um, lineup we had yesterday. Kind of that style as well. We have good speed at the top. Seeger's back in today. Hanniger, France, Crawford. Evan White. I think we're okay. Uh, we'll get, uh, we have Tom Murphy back in. He's come through in the clutch a couple of times. And I think that's, uh, I think that's it. There's not a whole lot going on. I just wanted to make sure that I got Fraley in. We'll have some speed in the outfield. Um, I think it came in handy a little bit yesterday. Uh, and we'll uh, just go ahead and jump on into uh, game number 103 here on youtube.com slash Sean Source Rex, where you can catch every day at 1 p.m. Pacific time baseball. Uh, it's either Mariners or tomorrow because the Mariners have a day off Chad champ. So if that sounds interesting to you, or you'd like to follow the final 60 ish game, 60 games, uh, be sure to scroll down, subscribe, ring that bell. Uh, so you're notified when I post new videos streams happening over on twitch.tv slash Sean Source Rex, uh, probably here pretty soon. Still need to do some work on that, but, uh, uh, mainly, most of the work was just putting this all together. I got a wire computer. It doesn't matter. Um, Twitch.tv slash Sean Source Rex. You can catch baseball every day over there. If you have Amazon Prime, you have Prime Gaming. Free Prime sub to any streamer. They get the full revenue. Welcome to Digital Seattle. Here in Seattle, today, a matchup of a pair of first place teams between the Houston Astros and the Seattle Mariners. The race for the division continues to heat up as two of the best square off next. Justice Sheffield, a southpaw from Tennessee, is the man on the mound. Dan, any thoughts? Sheffield is picking up his 21st start. It's a string of 21st starts here. 7 and 8, 4.03 ERA, 127.1 innings, and a couple of other stats. It'll be interesting to see if that trend continues in this start here. And stepping in, Jose Altuve. He will lead this one off today. I, uh, I'll be honest with you. I love the color combination here. I love the orange and the seafoam green. I think it, I think it looks great. Altuve. Gamey fits in the first game. Didn't seem to be as much of a problem yesterday. Again, playing well defensively over the last couple of games. Mental errors in the first one, but able to come through. How did the ball boy miss that? He probably is trained to miss it, but... Sixty-nine degrees, nice. It's a good day for baseball. Good day to try to get win number sixty-one. Ah, just missed with the sinker outside. Sixty-nine degrees to sixty-nine speed. Digging in next, Miles Straw. He's two for seven in the series so far. First pitch of the AB now. Snatched out of midair at first base. That's what we're looking for. That's a nice catch right there. Six pitch at bat to uh, Jose Altuve. One pitch at bat. That's that's a good way to balance that pitch count out. Third in the American 
80 ribbies. I wonder if he'll probably get to 100. He's also near the top of the league in slugging percentage, which means not every ball's leaving the yard. A lot of extra base hits in this guy's arsenal. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. There we go. There's a nice sinker. Feeling a little better with the strike zone today. Uh, we saw a lot of weird calls yesterday. It's kind of frustrating. That was a real bad fastball. If he doesn't have a big game right here, pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Just missed. That's all right. Take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing. You want a third four seam fastball in a row? Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be there we go. There we go. That's a little better. Was I believe pitch number 12. So good. Half of those pitches were to one batter. Uh, five of them to, uh, who's that? It was, uh, I believe Alvarez was the final, final out there. And then one pitch to the second, second bat. That's a good, uh, good start for the Mariners defensively. Justin Verlander starting his 22nd game of the season. Eight and four record, 33.90 ERA. 129.1 innings, 113 hits given up, 140 strikeouts, some, excuse me, some walks in there. Um, our pitching rotation is like just a smidge off. We've had a couple of injuries where we've had to start other guys. So it's been kind of, kind of weird. If you're curious as to why everyone's at 21 starts and then Justin Verlander has like an extra one. Had a couple of a uh, couple of minor injuries. Thankfully, we haven't had anything too devastating. Four seam fastball slider, twelve six curve, change up, two seam fastball. Oh, that was a nasty twelve six curve. Watch for something way outside. That wasn't way outside, but uh, that's an all right, all right take there. He's really working the low zone here. It's a slider that was more outside of the zone than I thought it was. That's a better pitch count, though. Five pitches for one at bat, which is a lot better than some of the innings we saw yesterday. That was the that was the big struggle. They were. I think the first two innings he threw nine pitches total, and I just, I just, I was way too swing happy. Try to work some counts a little bit more. Try to. That's a slider. I'm surprised is a is a ball. Um, yeah. count to the Mariners left fielder Fraley is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down if you will he's a plus runner and really uses speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field yeah and it works for him it works for him in a lot of ways like you said Matty hits the ball on the ground he has a potential to beat it out I can't tell you what this does for an infield or an outfield defense to be put on their toes and have to make plays against this guy the 3-0 pitch Oh no! I was late and under it. Oh, damn it! So he went all low against uh, the first batter, which was, I believe, Evan White, and then all high against Freely. Eyes lit up a little bit there with that higher four seam fastball. As well, well. With the fastball, strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Ooh, to get that boy, one way behind. Early? Hey, behind? Be careful right here. 
My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Grounded back up the middle. All right, that'll work. That'll work. That's through for a two out hit. And that means the inning stays alive with two away for Kyle. That's fine. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming out the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a run in the scoring position. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Kyle Seeger, as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Seeger behind with an 0 and 2 count. Down 0 2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. High in the air oh. to shallow center. Altuve has a play. Fuck. I missed a forcing fastball right down the middle. Right down the fucking middle. Damn it. I was real late on it. Fuck. Fuck. That's not what I want. God damn it. Got the hit. <laughs> Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. Too low, one and oh. Just missed there. I uh, did get a decent pitch count out of Verlander there. He actually has more pitches than I do through the first uh, first inning, which is nice. Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. Ready to deliver the one and two. There we go. There we go. Seems at eye level. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. To the plate now, Kyle Tucker. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Comes in here right at 260. 16 homers and 51 runs batted in. Now the 0-1. There we go. There we go. A couple of swings, a couple of misses. Feeling good. Pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick. Keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. To one and two now. There we go. There we go. I like that slider right there. Looks to get off to a good start. I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. So here's Yuli Gurriel. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. There is Seeger. Throw cleanly into first. There we go. That ends the inning. So they're held in check here. So a couple, so two innings down here, uh, two top halves, if whatever. Um, we've seen two long at-bats or longer at-bats and one single pitch at-bat in both of those innings. They were sandwiched in the first inning, two longer, and then the one pitch at-bat there at the very and helping our uh, helping our pitch count out a little bit, and we uh, got Verla Verlander, excuse me, to throw 16 of them. Hanniger's entire five-year career was with Houston, apparently. There's a 
fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. It's a better take right there. See if he comes back inside. And the pitch on two and one. Two and Ooh. Two. He did. I was under it and I was late on that. Oh. Here's a pop up now. That was a fastball way inside, way late. And that's the first out. Not but uh, not what I wanted to see there. The designated hitter. Now one down with the bases empty and that'll bring in Ty France. And now the first pitch. Am I am I late on all of this? I feel like I've been kind of lulled. Everything was so slow yesterday with uh, with Grinky. Definitely got to speed it up here a little bit. Oh boy, that was a nasty slider. That was good swing timing. I just timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Bottom of the second here with no score. There's a breaking There we go. We're still I mean, I'm getting getting them up here. That's a ball as well. Second time we've had three a three ball count. This time three and one. Previously it was three and zero. Oh. Real early on that. He's looking. He's he's like making a smiley face. Oh, real early on that slider. But we have him up to 31 pitches. I know it said 30 in the distance, but that one's a little slow. 31 pitches. Doing okay. He's averaging 15 and a half pitches per inning, which is good. And that'll bring up Aledmus Diaz. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. The pitch. Feels like a little bit of an inverse of the way the first game went. We fell behind really bad pitch count wise. It was kind of a Felt like it was kind of lucky to get him through seven innings, which is why it's good that Gonzalez was pitching instead of somebody a little lower down the uh, rotations because they don't have the stamina. There you go. Nice play. So let's check out where they sit in the standings entering play here today. I'm not exactly sure what our season series record against Houston is. I believe we see them nine times after this series. Um, so maybe we can, I think, you know, it could help to win. It's green, it's green, it's green. Um, could help to win the season series. So now, 
there's like a tiebreaker head to head. That was a really bad pitch. Quick first two outs and then unfortunately uh, losing it there. <clears throat> Not what I want to see. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, as he'll take Slider doesn't quite get one. inside enough. That was a very relaxed throw all the way across while a 69 speed man is running down the first piece. Oh, I got it. Just casual toss across the diamond. No big deal. No biggie dealio. Welcome back as Hi, Heidi. prepares for their third turn through the order. And fans of the Mariners have really been treated to a lot of production from this lineup so far. They come into the day tops in the majors in team batting average. And talking with some of the players and coaches prior to the game, many of them told me that's something they take a lot of pride in. Batting average isn't as highly valued as it once was, but they said it's a clear indication that they're doing a lot of good things in the batter's box to help the team collect W's. Guys? All right, Heidi, thank you. Ready to go, Ready to go for the last half of the, the inning. Base. And up next is Evan all right. White. All right. All right, all right. to deliver here comes the first pitch as ah, as way too way too aggressive there heading out towards shallow right drop oh dang that might be the shortest at bat i've had so far and that'll bring in tom murphy who's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game First pitch on its way. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it. God, I am swing. so late on this he's fastball. Set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a fastball. Ooh, that was right down the fucking middle. God damn it. Oh no! Fuck! Okay. Alright. Fuck! That was, uh, that was way too quick. Way too, everything was a swing there. That was like a blink and you'll miss it, bottom of the third inning. Settle down. I need to settle down. That was I. Mm. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to. Mm. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. You've seen a lot of low scoring pitcher's duels as the Mariners commentator. The wind up, the 1 1 pitch. Takes this the other way to right. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Opportunity to right. look at some of the future plans for this Mariner organization as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. And now, Jordan Alvarez. As he takes a cold strike on the black, Ooh. it's 0-1. That was a terrible pitch. Still somehow have a strike. The wind up and the 0-1. On the ground and right at the shifted infield. 
fielders. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. So the next to bat will be Alex Bregman looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see. He's able to take the ball the other way here. High and deep to right center. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the Back. ball. You could hear the solid contact all the way up here. And I thought we were going to have our first run of the game right there. Gets all the way to the fence, but it stays in the park. I think that was a little bit of a hanger there. Absolutely was. He wants to go right back to the slider, huh? Into the box, Kyle Tucker has the first pitch that was awful. That whole whole thing was just awful. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And Tom Murphy called about four fucking sliders in a row. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. Number 17 for him on the season. And the Astros have taken a two-to-nothing lead. I got to be better about paying attention to that. He has a habit of calling that same thing. It was on the opposite side of the plate. Like, he moved it around a little bit. Two good uh, tattooed balls there on the same fucking pitch. By the way, all of this with two outs. Fucking frustrating as shit. I guess you're only going to be able to keep a team like this down for so long. They will eventually hear the trash cans. It's a solo homer for Yuli Gurriel. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And the Astros have taken a three to nothing lead. Uh, again on the slider, by the way. Well, he won his last start, but he didn't give up any long balls. He's already given up two here. So he's got his work cut out for him. If he's two outs. Get the w There's this two one, fucking he's outs. To start keeping the ball in the yard for starters. At the plate, Alidmus Diaz. Fly ball right down the line in left. That was a bad pitch on my part. The timing on that back was real bad. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's 1 and 1. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Henniger will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Astros okay. on top, three to nothing. We're fine. We have, uh, we have a good chunk of the lineup coming up. We have Lewis. We have Seager. We have Hanniger. Hit his first time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. Mercifully, that was a foul ball. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off God balance damn. all game. 
And he missed with it. It's Woo one and two. -hoo. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Struck him out. Well, at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. Thought that was going to drop out of the zone. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. Gone! Didn't miss that one. Missed the first one. Right down the pipe, but did not miss the second one. A solo home run here for 35? Seager, number 35 now on the season. And the 35 home runs for Seager. See if we can maybe kind of fight back into this one a little bit. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Up next to Seattle. Mitch Hanniger, the, the next to bat. Mitch. Oh, Hanniger. there it goes. In the air to left center, and you can forget. Back to back, Jax. Holy back shit. God, if I could have just gotten anybody else on the fucking base paths, that would have been great. Uh, weird. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. That was a monster home run. That did that was upper deck, baby. So here now is Ty now France. There we go. Good take there. Good take. He's over one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. So he was 31 to like 37. He doesn't have a ton of pitches. Oh, that was a bad swing. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Two balls and a strike to count. Now the 2-1. Oh, fastball is up. Okay, got a couple of solo shots in there. It kind of worked the way I wanted it to. Got a couple of my power hitters to help us get back in this game. See if we can settle down on the defensive side. Fuck. That slider, though. Slider has been, over the course of the season, it's been my most inconsistent pitch. It took me a long time, for whatever reason, to get the fastball down. Um, and the cutter, I think, was troublesome for a little bit as well. But the slider was fine, and then it was bad, and then it was fine, and now it's back to bad. Something about, like, the way it's so far around, I think, is uh, maybe what's giving me some trouble. Oh, you'd like to lead off with a slider here. Okay, that's all right. Here's the first pitch. He'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner. It's ball one. That was probably because I was a little bit left. Now a ball lined hard toward deep right field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Fuck me. God damn. Fuck me. God damn. Stepping in now, Martin Maldonado. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. One for one with a single so far. Smoke toward the hole, scooped up. What did I say? What did I say? Oh, 
What did I fucking say? I said the defensive mental errors. God damn it. Standing on the bump right now. Have to find a way to punch this guy's ticket or roll a double play. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. Throw to. Nice thing about this, uh, this new space is I can kind of move out of the way. <laughs> I can get up. First is in time, but meanwhile the runner is in to score. Now, back. now to bat, Miles Straw. He's been a little unfortunate so far with a couple of hard hit balls that have resulted in lineouts. First pitch, fastball in there for a cold strike. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Now the 0-1. Son of a fucking bitch. Son of an absolute fucking bitch. Slow roller down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. He hasn't thrown that pitch much all game. I gotta believe as an offense, you just gotta That should have been it. That should be the end of the inning. Should be the end of the fucking inning. That should have been a double play. I just threw it to first base. I threw it to first base because I was like, do I throw it home? No, just get the double play. Limit the damage. in his two at-bats so far. Sinker, and this one's over as well. Nothing in two now. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Fielded cleanly. The next 0-2. Lewis will reach out with one hand to make the catch right. on the move and a little more dramatic than it needed to be. We do give up another uh another run. Fuck. I got back into this game only to like just give it right back. Damn it. Hi Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Mariners manager Scott Service during the break about his team's offensive performance so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. All right, Heidi, thank you. Now it'll be J.P. Crawford who bounced out last okay. time up. Six pitches seen last time. That's a nice 12 6 curve. 50th pitch of the game on its way. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul. Thankfully, a foul ball. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Hit hard to the right side. I don't work. I don't work. All right. There you go, Crawford. job on the offensive side not to let the ab get away from him i know he was down 0-2 but he pulled his neck and he stayed in there the next batter will be evan white hey. that 12-6 curve is giving me trouble oh for one for him here in this one evan white's 0 for seven. Oh, so it must have been uh who the fuck 
Dylan Morrow. Back up the middle. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Finding some gaps. against him he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up this game is too close to get greedy he's set here it comes good take excellent take From an offensive standpoint this is where you got to push the throttle right here you've had a couple hits in the inning you got a 1-0 count leverage let's see if he excellent take Inside. Hell yeah. Oh, no. Hell fucking yeah, baby. That's fine. That's fine. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. High and deep to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he'll indeed move up nine. I just missed it. Oh, god damn it. Oh, Tom Murphy. Didn't have to tag and go for third, but now he can score a lot of different ways. Doesn't have to be a hit. Alright, Dylan Moore. One for nine. Has the home run. His only hit in the series was a two run. What turned out to be game winning home run. And there's ball one. One and two now is that one's fouled off. Uh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh my god, holy fucking shit, holy fucking shit, I am so lucky that I scored that fucking run, why did he not just go home, oh my god, oh, 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 I need a second, hold on. I need a second. Jesus, Lord in heaven. Oh, my God. It's time for another breakdown. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another breakdown here on... I can't even watch the replay! Oh, fuck off! I was going to do a breakdown. It was going to be great. I took too long. Oh, God dang it. That was going to be good content. God damn it. Damn it. I, I can't believe, I cannot believe that was a home or that was a scoring play. It should have been way easier. I, this, this is, is, I talk about this a lot. I make this so much more difficult on myself. Why did he not just automatically go home? Just go home. Worst case scenario, right? Worst case scenario, it's a foul ball. Oh, can I not watch the replay? Damn it. Ah, damn it. I, damn it. I guess I could go in and I could probably go in and cut this out. Commentator. Oh no, just kidding. I can't because my computer fucked me over. Never mind. I can't do that. They'll only get one. That was a bad, that was bad. Lewis saw. Uh... In now, Kyle Lewis, as he 
three fastballs and one uh, one B secondary. I don't know what. I don't know what. I think it's a slider, maybe. He started in the same location. He went in, slider, out, and then fastball, fastball. I take my hands off the controller. I'm not touching any buttons. I'm just holding on to it. God damn it. That was a huge missed opportunity. I think I accidentally hit A there. I didn't mean to. What? Wait, what? Did I, like, accidentally skip something? What? There were a bunch of hits in that. What? First pitch on the way. Strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. He's around first, heading for two. But that'll be off the wall. Is that another double for him? God, they are fucking dialed into this guy. I think that was the same pitch twice again. Kyle Tucker will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. So this is, um, oh, good. Do you, no, 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 Tom Murphy. No, you're getting a change. I am not throwing a second slider. Fuck that noise. What was the pitch that he hit out of the goddamn ballpark? If the answer is a slider... Which I'm throwing again. Here comes the one two. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the corner a little Why? bit, he would have Why? that backwards K. The two two is swung on and missed and right. him on strikes. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Remember when I gave up a home run? He called so many sliders at that at-bat. So many fucking sliders. Like, settle down, Tom Murphy. Standing in now, Yuli Gurriel. Rounded back up the middle. Crawford fields it cleanly. Throw gets him. Now we're looking at a good pitch count here, 66 through 5 and 2 thirds. That is fine. <laughs> I'll be honest, that actually kind of startled me. The central air turned on and it like threw me off. Because I was like, what the fuck is that noise? Oh, central air. Here we go, there's a nice slider. Little surprised to see that slider be uh, that effective in that inning. Uh, again, had the two outs, was a little nervous there. They've cashed in one more run, but the hits are even 4-3 as we go to the bottom half of the sixth inning, and I hope I don't didn't accidentally skip anything. That commentary was so wrong. It was... B b b befuddling I could not pick if I wanted to say befuddling or baffling I was not making fun of anybody my brain fucking broke right there alright Kyle Seeger let's fucking go
one. Here's the pitch. Strike two taken. A fastball that clips the inside black. Right side and right into the shift. Well, that was not what I was looking for. We do have Hanniger coming up. He had a home run last time. He was at bat as well. Fuck. He keeps showing us this. We're, it's exciting. We know that. It's, there's the first place. First place up for grabs. Do I get to open some cool cards? There's only like six cards in each of those packs, too. Next here is Mitch Hanniger. He's one for two in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Straw is in his tracks now. Two gone. Stayed high that whole at bat. Um, definitely worked to his benefit. I kept thinking he's had so much success with his slider and his 12-6 uh, curve. I kept thinking he'd try and drop something out there. Um, but he has, if he, what he picks, he seems to stay in one of the two directions. So maybe I should pay a little more attention to that. Is that it? Is that? 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 It's a tie game! Let's fucking go! Tie France! Yeah, baby! Suck it, Justin Verlander! Solo shot here to left. 12 home runs for him now thus far, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. I turned my microphone off so I wouldn't absolutely destroy the audio there. Let's fucking go! 4-4, four, four, baby! All of it on the long ball! I think, no, actually, I take that back. Two of them, uh, three of them off in the long ball. I forgot about the wild run that I scored that I couldn't do a breakdown of. Woo! Woo! Baby! Let's go! Let's open some cards! Let's take that ball, because I was not prepared. You gotta hold RT or pause the game. Anytime this air would like to turn off would be fucking fantastic. That's outside. That's outside. That's a fucking ball. It's a fucking ball. picture being in the box that pitch looks so good to hit and why does no one ever get to it a good that's a single that's a single that's a single it's a shallow shot to left field i like it though i like it though crawford getting back on base what hits feel the best hits after terrible swings that's right that's right those feel better I just, cool home runs it's great awesome who cares you know oh now, here's here's the main, not the main, the big question here, as I roll into the later parts of this game. A, I should probably get some, somebody up in the bullpen here uh, to uh, to do some damage. Oh, a Munoz. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. We will warm up a Brandon Brennan as well. I'll take that. Thank you. Now, here's the problem. The problem is... Every time, not every time, a lot of times I've scored runs, I've ended up giving some back. We closed the game to 3-2, gave up a run, made a 4-2. 4-3 got into some trouble. It's been uh, it's been a little, little dicey. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was terrible on the audio. <laughs> oh my god. That was another one of those like, fuck, that's going to be an 0-2 count, and then oh, I was a ball. Oh, that was awful. Yeah, too early, you don't say. There we go. Foul it away. Foul it away. Early on that. Okay. 
two pitch. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be fuck. playable in God fucking fuck. And he will indeed make the God damn it. That was out of the fucking zone, Ty France. Here we go, baby. Scores in the inning and that'll have to be good enough as this solo home run knocks things up. 8, 9, and top of the order coming up to start the 7th. All even now at 4 apiece. 7th inning ready to roll. And that brings Corey Lee to the plate. I think we're okay. First pitch of the AB on its way. He says and then immediately throws a sinker as a ball. Cool. Good. Excellent. Why do you keep calling sinkers, bud? Hit on the ground to third. And the throw there we go. Is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. At the plate now is Martin Maldonado. A hit in two tries for him so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swung on, but it's pulled foul. Nice grab by the ball. Uh, attended. God damn, he is so slow. And yet again, another hit against the slider. the first pitch possible go ahead runs on first one away a ball and a it's going to take a lot to get him all the way around now maybe not the thing to take solace in but it'll work in a pinch Here we go. Sheffield has seven strikeouts. Interesting. Interesting. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Owen won the count. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Good breaking ball there. Laid off oh, for the God. second strike. Why? A bouncer up the middle. Reined in. Throw it! The first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. So it's no Probably should have just tagged the guy who's a zero speed instead of worrying about the dude who's 84 flying down the goddamn line. Joe Smith. Gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home. That a real person. No offense to Joe Smith, who's a major league baseball player. That is the most generic name in the world. That's like create your player and it's just like Joe Smith. Or Joey Smith. And you're just like Hmm? What? Sinker slider, four seam fastball. I hate it. I hate it. Here's the one. Hit hard to third. Oh. And that's gonna get through in the left. That's a single, that's a single. Go ahead run on base. It's a Tom Murphy single, which means eh, that's a single. And that's one of those E five, interesting. Not even a hit? You fucking cowards? How is that an E5? I'm a little surprised that's actually an error. So, by the way, he has thrown two sliders. 
both of them right over the heart of the plate. On a line, that's a base hit. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. Holy shit. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Now at the plate, here is Jake Fraley. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. That is the first sinker he has not. He, the first sinker he has thrown that is not right in the middle of the uh, of the zone. There's an open Mountain Dew bottle. Hammers it to deep right field. Ranging back is Tucker. On the go, 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 go. He's in. 5-4 Mariners. Woo. Nice hit by Fraley. I thought that actually might carry a little bit further. That was still somehow a very tight play. I think that's more of a testament to how good that throw was. Oh my god. Oh, I wanted that. I thought... You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guaranteed risk. And that will get down as he delivers... It's safe, 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 safe! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Woo-hoo-hoo! Yeah! Woo-hoo! Let's go, Kyle Lewis! I don't know if I had to tag up or not. I don't know what the fuck happened there. I thought I accidentally sent him back. Holy shit. I can't look at the replay. Oh my god. Wow, they're bringing in a new pitcher already. Pedro Baez, come on in, in here. Somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not. And now we've got a couple of guys on. Pedro Baez takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Four seam uh, between 92 and 97. Change up tops out at 89. Slider tops out at 89. Both of those actually are the same 85 to 89. Oh boy, that was a nice slider. Way too aggressive, way too excited, way too fucking amped right now. Holy shit. Have a ways to go. He's thrown two pitches, both of them balls. Um... A couple of them have been little bloopers, and I haven't known. Uh. I should have just gone for broke there. Just go for broke. Fuck it. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's open some fucking cool cards. Woo. 
Don't increase the difficulty! No! Boo! Boo! Increases the difficulty immediately. It's a bad strike. I shouldn't have thrown those cards. There's probably something valuable in there. And now I don't even need to bring in... Uh, what's his face to save? Also, this collapse is going to be way worse. Okay. All right. All right. Four runs here in this half inning. Now a ball lined hard toward right center, and this is going to find the gap for his third hit of the afternoon. This one for extra bases. The relay, but too late, and he's safe at third. You know they say pitching is about location, location, location. Fucking JP, motherfucking Crawford. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Games changed, Dan. You used to see O2, and guys would almost throw one to the backstop, waste a pitch, bounce something. Not the case in today's game. Guys are going right after you, but he definitely missed his spot right there. Into the box now, Evan White. As he'll take a look at the pitch, too low. It's ball one. He's working wow. On one for three wow. Far. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Cut to the video in about 15 minutes when all of a sudden it's 11 to 9. They scored seven runs and I'm going to fucking throw an Xbox out a window. The one -oh. is swung on Ooh, that slider died. God, it looks so enticing. There's one hit in the air to the right side. Catch made there by Altuve, and there are two gone now. And now, Tom Murphy. He reached on an error and later scored his last time up. From the stretch. Ooh, okay. All right. Thought that was maybe a slider that was going to drop a little outside there. Okay, that's fine. There, and it's to one and one. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 Sorry, I wasn't trying to interrupt you. Just wanted to make sure I got a new pitcher in. Now the one and one pitch is in there Ooh. for the second strike. Ooh. I don't know. Go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. The one two is Oh, wow, big swing, swing and a miss on that strikes. strike. Or on that slider, excuse me. All in all, ten men come to the plate and five score. Eighth inning coming up. Seattle leads this one nine to four. Wow. Wow. We have Munoz coming on up here. 38 games, 3-4 and four record. Uh, picked up a win in his last appearance, actually, in the first game of this series. 11 holds, 48.2 innings pitched, 2.40 ER. Hey, and he throws some fucking heat, baby. That's a triple-digit fastball right there. 102 miles an hour. Ouch! That's a weird, like, little wiggle there at the top. I'm surprised that was 100% accuracy, considering how far, like, how low that was. Wow, that was all right. Hmm. 
Two seems giving me a little trouble. I feel like I'm, I'm probably overthinking it just a little bit here. First pitch of the AB on its way. Ah, low. Ball and no strikes. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just not here's a fly ball well hit. Gone to Son of a bit. Fuck. 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 Fuck! I pulled the pitcher out to a specifically avoid this scenario. Oh man, he got hurt. His second pitch since coming in, and he serves one up. A reliever. Son of a fucking bitch. Let's see if he can rebound. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. Swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Frehley will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Next to dig in, Kyle Tucker. One run in and one gone so far in the center. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. There we go. He'll take one on the inside corner. Let's uh, not throw this guy a slider. Actually, no, he has a home run on a slider on the inside. He has a strikeout on the slider on the outside. Of course, the slider was lefty going away. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. Come on! Two pitch fouled away. And another foul ball. that got fucking lifted. A payoff pitch one more time. Swing a ball hit on the God damn, dude. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Yeah, I lost him. That was that was a not a great pitch. It sailed on me a little bit. It was a little bit of a uh, I don't know if dangerous is the right the right word. Eh, maybe maybe it is. Risky gamble to throw it that high and inside that much towards the corner. That was bad. That was very bad. Pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Guriel behind. God, that one fucking sailed. Well, tried to throw a high fastball right by him there didn't work but now we'll see if that sets up some different options wouldn't be surprised to see a good slide there we go there we go there we go well his struggles continue it's been a rough go of it at the plate with him and watching this at bat how bad is it that i have a fly five now four four run lead and i'm like uh uh-oh God, that pitch sucked. That pitch sucked. Suck, suck, sucked. But not before they're able to at least get one back on the solo home run. 
On now to the bottom of inning number eight. It's the M's nine and the Astros five. Blake Taylor is on to pitch. Blake Taylor coming on in here. 33rd appearance. He has 33.1 innings pitched. 3.0 innings. Or uh, 3 point something. I, I don't know. Doesn't matter. Who cares? Four seam slider change up. The four seam tops out at 96. Uh, nothing else tops out that high. That is a fucking right down the center fastball. Holy shit. Nothing else tops out at the four seam fastball's lowest speed. Do need to uh, bring in a new pitcher here. Sent out to straightaway center field. Strong is right there, one down. Digging in now for the Mariners, Jake Fraley. He could really That's all right. That's all right. I will take the sack fly all day, Jake Fraley. God damn it. Um, I will schedule, if I can, schedule Brandon Brennan. We'll warm up Ken Giles just in case. One more run and I do believe it becomes a save situation. Also good to have an extra pitcher this is hit the other way ready. It's a stand-up double, baby. So this was, uh, this was a good game. I felt like I did a much better job um, being patient at the plate. A couple of times where some innings were really quick, the bottom of the third inning specifically. But we were able to battle back. Um, get that pitch count up, get into the bullpen. And that was a bad swing right there. But we were able to get into the bullpen and really punish them. Joe Smith came in and gave up three runs, I believe. Um leading to a five run seventh inning this one this, I don't know this one just feels good you know we'll change pitchers we'll bring in Brandon Brennan for his 28th appearance he has an 0-1 record does have nine holds 28.1 innings pitched with a 2.22 ERA uh, 26 strikeouts two walks And that's a, that's a bad first pitch. We're going to slow him down a little bit here. His four seam tops out at 93, which is nine miles an hour slower than some of the fastest speeds we were seeing from, uh, uh, what's it called? Tapia. Nope, I'm sorry, Munoz. Munoz. Oof. Not uh, great looking pitches here. A couple of ugly... Ugly pitches. All 
Oh my god. I hit the wrong button. All of that, it was a mess. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to dial it in in real game action here. 8-9-1 hitters coming up. Boom! Nice grab, nice grab. One pitch, one out. Let's go. Let's fucking go. So next to hit is Martin Maldonado. He's two for three and looking for more here. First pitch on its way. That is a generous strike right there. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now that second base. Ready now is Jose Altuve. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. From the stretch. That's by him for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Proud of over 39,000 on their feet. Did well just to make contact. Got treated to a real nice, uh, real nice comeback. Last strike now for Houston. Got him looking, Altuve! See you later. Guess you didn't feel the buzzer on your chest. There you go. Holy shit. What a game. What a game. Way better approach offensively. Still made a little mental error here and there defensively. Got to clean that up a little bit. Too focused and too worried with giving up runs that I'm not, con I'm not confident I can get back. Uh, I think was uh, part of the problem with that. Like, do I throw home? And then I just threw it to first, and I had thrown a goofball the first time, and it was just kind of, kind of ugly. However, mitigated the damage there, made sure, you know, we were kind of in the game. Um, I do ask a lot of, like, myself and the defense to kind of cover for mistakes like that and, like, kind of pitch to contact. Um... Uh, stuff like that. We had two really weird runs that we scored in that game, by the way. The Crawford run earlier that I should have done a breakdown of. And that Tom Murphy run was a little weird as well. Holy shit. Ty France, your player of the game. He was two for four with a home run. Three ribbies and a run scored himself. He. Uh, yeah, he's your player of the game. Hanniger was two for four with a home run. A ribby, two runs scored himself. Hanniger, two for five with a home run. A ribby. Two runs scored himself, and Dylan Moore, two for five with a double, a ribby, and a run scored himself. Win, Justice Sheffield. I think he, that makes him an even eight and eight on the season. He pitched seven strong innings with seven hits, seven strikeouts, and four earned runs given up. Joe Smith takes the loss. He pitched .1 innings, gave up three hits, four earned runs. Huh. And the Mariners fell down. Back-to-back -back Jacks in the top half of the fourth inning. Put him in the hole three to nothing. Got two back solo shots. Seeger, Hanniger. Gave that run back up. Immediately got it back. Four, three through five. Tied it up at the bottom of the sixth. And then a five-run explosion in the seventh inning propelled them to a nine to four lead. They immediately, we immediately gave up one more run to make it nine to five. But alas, the victory was ours. Gave up three long balls to the Houston Astros. Not exactly what I want, but that's fine. We're walking out of here with a victory. We're walking out of here with the lead of the American League West. We're going to check our stats against the Houston Astros here in just a moment. And we get to open some brand new cool cards. I should probably grab the one that I threw just, uh, just to make sure that I, I didn't damage any of the property. Any of the contents. <coughs> I coughed all over it. Good for me. Oh, and the air turned on just in time. That's uh, that is that is very poor timing. I I will be honest. I just 
knows. It just, it got so hot. It got so sweaty in here. It feels so fucking good to watch a goddamn victory. Oh, that is nice. Nine to five was your score. Let's go Mariner. All right, we're back. The central air turned on. I paused the video, let it just kind of do its thing. We got up, blew my nose, used the restroom and just calmed down. We came down a little bit. All right. Got super hyped. I'm super excited. Thrilled with a nine to five victory. The most runs we've scored uh, since the eight to one victory uh, over Oakland back then. So here's what we're going to do first. Uh, I have the, well, I have the cards here. These are the ones that I threw earlier out of excitement or whatever. It's upside down also. Good job, Sean. Quality, quality content is the name of the game here on uh, youtube.com slash 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 Seanosaurus Rex. Two and one here against the Astros in this last series. We'll go back a little bit and see if we can figure out exactly how our record is looking. We hadn't seen them in actually quite a while. Um, hopefully I don't miss anything. Uh, looks like it was Houston and then Houston three and one there. And then one and two and three and one, one, four, two, one, three, four and three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. So four and three, six and four. Six and four in the 10 games we've seen Houston. We had not seen them in a while. I'm just kind of double checking here to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, Oakland, Oakland, Texas, Los Angeles, Minnesota, Tampa Bay, Colorado, New York. Six and four, a four game series, a three game series, a three game series. Won all the series against them. Or two of the series against them. Three of the series against them. Two of the... Oh, my God. Doesn't matter. Six and four. We have a leg up on them. Um, if we can go the rest of the way, we got uh, three in a couple of weeks. But then immediately after that, and then immediately after that, we have three and then three. So we have nine games left. So for a total of 19, we just need to go like 10 and nine against them. Should lead to some kind of tiebreaker. But feeling good. Two games up on the Houston Astros. One of the better teams. Um in in the league much better approach today um i, I said it earlier but uh just a much a much nicer better smarter slower more patient relaxed better approach today um against verlander stuck around you know nine to five i think i'm kind of fooling myself that it was like oh here's a really good game that like that that we were in control of like we weren't it was Kind of, you know, clawing back into it, getting a really weird couple of weird runs, but one really weird run. Um, oh, man, just wild. And now I have to fight with this box, which is partially why I'm still kind of like talking and stalling. I got up. I took a break. I paused the video. I did all this stuff and somehow was like, you know what? I don't need to open this box. I didn't think about that. Too hyped. Too excited. We're, I'm getting in there. Commentary on the box opening is going. Uh, it's working. Okay. This is surprisingly difficult to open. Oh, there we go. There we go. Finally broke the seal. There we are. Ah, finally broke the seal. <sighs> we do have these, uh, so we have kind of cooler cards this time around. We have these, uh, oh, I, I need to switch my camera. My apologies. General gameplay. That is not the camera I wanted. I wanted this camera right here. And I have, uh, I could do right or left hand. Whoa. Look out. Wild. Um, yeah. What's up, everybody? Here you go. There's a little bit better look of kind of what you'll be seeing in the future. I'm going to put a shelf here. I'll be putting some shelves back here. There'll be some fun knickknacks and stuff. I can't remember. I did two intros to the game yesterday. Neither of them made the cut. Uh, anyway, we have these, uh, these cool looking cards right here. We have kind of an interesting design on that um so they're a little bit more old school these were twenty dollars for the box if you were curious they are a little on the lighter side as far as card count is concerned we'll just open the first one that uh that i grab there you go there it is six cards in this uh tops 2021 allen and ginter pack 
I'm glad that I found these. I ran across some other, some other cards that I was going to buy and then, uh, made a lap, like a two hour lap around the Walmart and then came back and there were different cards. So I grabbed a couple of these. So let's see what we have here. We have, uh, Dijong. Not exactly sure who that is. Dijong, maybe? St. Louis Cardinals. And I, again, I just, I like this kind of fun style. We had the Heritage cards. Those were pretty cool. Uh, I don't know who this is. I don't know who he plays for. Is this just a dude in a t-shirt? I don't, uh, all right. King of the off season, off court star in basketball. Oh, basketball trainer, Chris Brickley. St. Louis Cardinals, Paul DeJong. Oh, wow. Interesting. Interesting. We'll take a look at the, this guy has like a, like a biography sort of thing on the back. This has his stats which you would expect on the back of the baseball card. Interestingly, if you'll focus, it's written out. So he's like 427. Instead of just saying 427, it literally is all spelled out. That is wild. Can you focus on this card, please? Anyway, that's kind of fun. <clears throat> we have Acres. Um... Okay, so these are like baseball adjacent, I guess. There she is. These are fun. These are way more fun than I thought. We have a uh, far, far away. Caldwell 32. Stream of stars roughly the size of the Milky Way. This card is super small and is just a, a picture of the galaxy. Can you please focus? There you go. What? What? Uh, Los Angeles daughter, Dodgers. Uh, number 34 in a series of 50. Kind of a fun little break card there. That's pretty cool. I'm, I'm super excited that I, uh, that I got these. These are really, uh, really interesting. We got as many like baseball cards as we did like other cards. And then last but not least, Bryce Harper of the Philadelphia Phillies. These are pretty cool. I like that there's, so we got, let's see, we have one, two, three baseball cards, and then three random cards, a basketball trainer, a soccer player, and a card of just a galaxy. Caldwell 32. Weird. Very neat though. Uh, if you'd like to see me open more cards, uh, you can stick around here. Subscribe on youtube.com slash Rex. You can check out brand new games or episodes of baseball, games of baseball every day, 1 p.m. Pacific time. Mariners have tomorrow off before a big, long road, uh, road trip. So you'll see Chad Champ in his debut with his brand new team after getting called up to the next level uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m. Those are much shorter. They're like 30-minute videos. And but, excuse me, instead of an hour and 44 minutes, which is what we're working with right now. There you go. We'll see you in a couple of days. We'll see you Wednesday. Sorry, excuse me, Thursday for uh, game number one in a set of three against Texas. We're going to Tampa Bay for three, and then we're going to New York for four. And then we'll be back home for a six game set. And the Houston Astros loom in here in a couple of weeks, but we do have some tough competition to play. Three games against Toronto, a team that we struggled uh, against. We I think we won one, but did not play particularly well. Tampa Bay and New York. Uh, we've seen them, but it has been a while. I don't remember exactly how those series went. So let's look back uh, to when we saw them. Um, what did I say? Tampa Bay? What the hell is Tampa Bay? Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Tampa. Oh, there we go. Tampa Bay 3-1 and one, uh, in that series. And then the Yankees, we swept. So... There you go. Can't overlook those teams. Uh, I feel like we'll be, I feel pretty good about where we're going here against Texas, against Tampa Bay, against the New York Yankees to kind of hopefully separate ourselves at the top of the pack of the American League West. Thank you again so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this installment of Mariners baseball back where we started at the very beginning of this season when we were 2-0, and 
We were number one. It's been a long trip. We're finally back there. Nine and one in our last 10. Looking good. Feeling good. Going into a big 10 game road trip. We'll see you Thursday for game number one. Subscribe here. YouTube.com slash Rex. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Or check twitch.tv slash Rex for more streaming fun. Thank you so much for watching. Go Mariners. Fuck yes.